anatomy department runs a degree program with a slightly complicated name, which is anatomy, uh, developmental and human biology. Although it's kind of complex, it really kind of highlights, we think, some of the strengths of the degree program itself. So anatomy, for example, it's kind of obvious what it is, but if you want to understand how the human body works, uh, you really need to understand its structure or its anatomy. Uh, a good example, I think, of this would be if you want to know why blood flows through the heart only in one direction, you need to know the location, the architecture, the physical properties of the heart valves themselves. You need to be able to study real human bodies. Um, and we're really pleased to be able to offer our undergraduates the opportunity to, to dissect uh, human cadavers. These have been very generously donated by the public um, for uh, anatomical examination. And it's really one of the most uh, privileged and amazing things you're ever likely uh, to be able to do. The dissections this year kind of opened my eyes to human biology in general and we're actually very privileged because not many uh, health science students around the country get to do this. The benefits of it are just amazing and I would do it all over again if I could. We also employ every year uh, an additional 12 so-called anatomy demonstrators. So these are folk who are obsessed by anatomy. Most of them are trainee surgeons um, and they're able to add their specialised uh, anatomical knowledge for our students and give them real clinical uh, relevance. As soon as you start to think about the structure of the body, you very quickly start to think about how was it built. It's a fascinating question to ask, you know, how do you go from a single fertilised egg to a, to, a, to a whole organism that has multiple tissue types and multiple organs. You know, for example, where does my brain come from? Why is it the shape that it is? You know, why does my hand have thumbs that are different to fingers? The module I run is called Developmental Neurobiology and it essentially uh, uh, covers how the brain is wired together during development uh, from early stages when the tissues that will become the nervous system are set aside all the way through to when the networks are functioning. In recent years it's become evident that many disorders such as schizophrenia and autism have a developmental uh, origin so these neurodevelopmental disorders uh, can really only be understood by studying the development of the nervous system. Human biology is a bit of a broad term, obviously, um, um, and it basically means biology that's most relevant to the human. So, for example, we uh, introduce students to the principles of psychology and behavioural science. So this means, you know, uh, what controls basic human behaviours like learning, memory, language, emotions those kind of basic, very human things. Everything that we teach is basically underlain by what you might call basic core biology. So this would include disciplines like cell biology, molecular biology, genetics, neuroscience especially for us is really important. We give our students um, the opportunity in their final year also to join in with um, a proper research lab. And I think that's actually one of the real highlights of every degree programme. So I've been working in the labs with one of the lead endocrinologists for the whole of this year. And I was really inspired by the researcher because he's at the forefront of his field. And when he's so passionate about the subject, it kind of rubs off on you. And I spent ages, absolutely ages, just looking up all this research material. And I really enjoyed it. Kings is a very friendly place to be. I think we look after our students very well. We really make an effort to nurture students, you know, to get to know them. And I think this is the best way to draw out their potential and come out at the end with a very good degree.